Wow, what a mess here. And I'm gonna make another mess, so I'm just going to put this right on top of all of this mess. So, prison pour. Uh, I, I got two colors in, Hot Orchid and Chrysocolla. And I like them both, but I think I'm gonna try the Hot Orchid in this experiment. And what I'm gonna to need to do is take a couple, I'm gonna take two little cups, pour some of this prism pour in each of them. Oh my Lord. Come on, come on. Oh, it's not coming off. Sometimes <laughs> you have to use a little gadget like this to get your lids off. just to loosen them up. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, look at that delicious color. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna take a stick and I'm gonna put a little bit in each of these cups. Now this is pretty, it's thick, but it's thin. I don't know if it's gonna be I'm gonna put it some in this cup by itself and then some in this cup by itself and then I'm gonna add some ingredients to it that I usually use in my pour. So, I don't wanna to use too much of this for an experiment because it's kinda of pricey. I think it's $22 for this. And it's supposedly you're supposed to be able to work with it just on its own. It doesn't need anything else. And that's how much, oh my goodness, I got pink on me. Ooh, it stains your fingers. So wear gloves. <laughs> oh my goodness, it really does. See? <laughs> so I'm gonna take my mix and do this pour with this. I think this is a 16 by 20. No, can it be? Yeah, I think it is. So I'm going to flood this with my mix. Oh my goodness, I think I lost my, I lost the bottom. <laughs> the, the pin is still in there, but the, the top came off. Oh, it's still working. Bloopers. I don't know if this is enough paint. You have to have enough to, for it to move around on. I'm going to put just a little bit more in on. All right. Now, I would normally put my Liquitex pouring medium and a little bit of Floetrol little bit left in here. I know you're not supposed, it says that it's good to pour on its own, but given that this is a different um, kind of pour, that looks like it's liquidy enough to handle this, and so does the other. I don't think I have to add any water to this. This is a little thicker and it says you can add water. So I'm going to add a little tiny bit of water to get it to the right consistency. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more, yep, that's perfect. A little bit more of the, um, I 
don't have my corners done very well. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna pour this one with the prism pour with just the water on this part, and then I'm gonna pour the one that I have with um, my regular recipe for it. Oh, look at that. Now there's gonna be more paint in this side because there's more volume with the, um, the flow trawl in it. So it, why isn't it moving over there? Do I not have enough paint over there? Oh, I'm not liking what it's doing on its own. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Gotta give things a try though. You know, if you don't try, you never know. All right, I'm gonna give this a torch. Um, and put you on time-lapse. That is kind of cool the way it does that, but. Just for giggles. But swipes well. Swipes really well. Yeah, that's cool. Huh, interesting. Well, we know that they swipe well. That is like pretty crazy actually. I'm, I'm, I kind of like it. It looks very alien. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the strangest painting I've ever done. It's so, oh, and of course there's a bug. <laughs> Don't land in it, please. Okay. Uh, so in any case, um, there were some fractals happening over here. This was the straight prism pour. So, um, but look at that bling, eh? A. There goes, there goes my Canadianness, eh? And this was the part that had some Floetrol and some Liquitex base, uh, Liquitex um, uh, pouring medium added to it right here. And this is the one that had just the water. And just the water, it, I can see some um, breaking in the paints. Um, not necessarily in a hugely bad way. I want to see how this dries because um, I know breaking, it's not supposed to happen, but I kind of like the effect that it's, it's kind of wispy and um, I don't know. It's just, I've never seen anything like this before. And there's like a gradation of colors. Um, it's prism pour 
orchid, but it's like, there's so many different colors to it. So, um, I'm not, I, I, the jury's still out on it, but we'll have to see how it looks in the morning. But look at that, guys. I mean, look at, <sighs> bling, 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 bling. Um, so we'll see how it dries. But for right now, I mean, it looks so cool. I'm, it's just different. I've never seen anything like it. Anyhow, please be safe and create. Like, share, and subscribe. Miss you already. Okay, guys, so this is the dried results. And oddly enough, I don't hate it. It has a lot of dimension. Uh, it's not, it didn't do what a normal cloud pour would do, but it's kind of a happy accident. I mean, look at, these look like little lightning bolts, pink lightning bolts. And the, the, the shimmer is really, it's beautiful. But there's, because it was the, the cloud mix, it kind the paint's kind of split here, but kind of almost in a good way. It looks kind of wispy. And there's some brown undertones. And this was the part that had um, just the water in it. This is the part that was just plain prism pour and there were fractals starting all over the place and it just kind of grew and then this is the part that had the flow trawl and pouring medium in it and <laughs> it's kind of crazy but I you know I kind of I like different I like um yeah look how wispy that is over there I like different and I like unexpected and this is definitely unexpected so let me know what you guys think. Put it, um, put it, put a little something in the comments and let me know, yay or nay. Talk to you soon.